Welcome to Video Evolution. Evolution in the world of videos. Today we are going to start with the summary of the 10th chapter of Three Men in a Boat. Now all the friends were exhausted and time was 7 o'clock in the evening. Now their only plan was to find a place so that they can have their supper and spend their night at that place. Now they fastened their boats to reach the place near an elm tree. Now George gave an idea that they should cover their boat with a canvas or a large piece of cloth so that they don't have any problem during night they all had to fit five hoops or big needles to support canvas and this process took much time they were unable to fit hoops in socket they hammered it but then they realized that they had fit it in wrong socket they were very hard so it was difficult to come out at last they fixed up hoops in right places after all confusion now again they faced a problem that george unrolled the canvas and tied to one end of the boat and the other end was given to harris to catch the canvas but wasn't able to catch it and he himself got tied in it since he lost his balance he fell on george and he also got tied to the canvas N- narrator helped them and they finished their work Now all the friends decided to boil the kettle in the nose or the front of boat. They believed that if you wait for it to boil, it would never make noise, but if you ignore it, it starts boiling. After eating their supper, they all became satisfied. Narrator says that a full stomach always keeps us happy and contented. Our behavior depends upon the food we eat. It makes us generous and satisfied. Now they wanted a silent nature like that of an island. At 10 o'clock the narrator went to sleep but he couldn't sleep because of the noise of the flowing water boat wind moving among the branches. He became annoyed and got out of the boat. They wanted to sleep in open. It was a refreshing cool night. There was a complete silence but the, and the bright moons and stars were talking to the earth in deep voices. The narrator actually becomes poetic and says that night is a life and it is like a loving mother whenever she puts her hand on us all our thoughts pains are forgotten and we feel deep and relaxed he says that pain and sorrow are only angels of god to test the resistance of humans the narrator tells a story which has a moral that those who suffer only sees the wonder light Once there was a group of knights or soldiers who were trading in a forest there by chance one of their companions lost in woods all other thought he was dead one day then that lost companion came back and his condition was very poor all other asked how he survived then he said that there was a saint who led him to the wonders light he saw the light and lost or forgot all his thoughts and pains then that person or the companion prayed to god for sending that saint in form of an angel the name of forest was actually sorrow a hard working person only has success then george narrated a funny incident that when his father was young he went to a trip with his friend and stayed at a hotel in the same room but different beds the candle went out so it became complete blackout and they climbed to the same bed but from opposite sides and then after some time both thought that there was a man beside his father and his friend but they were talking about each other only both decided to throw the man out of the room but they were themselves only so both of them were actually out of their room it was strange that same thing happened to his father but the name of the hotel was different and the name of the hotel was the pig and the whistle